All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, I'm Mike, this is Matt. Um, we're the two developers of the Black Pool. Um, we're just gonna play a quick cooperative uh, game and stream it for you and kind of talk about the game as we go. So first things first, I'm gonna host a game. Uh, we're gonna create in the challenge mode, which is more difficult than the as intended one, but we're just gonna play on the first level of it. We're gonna play a bronze time crunch. So I'll go ahead and start that. When we start, we have a quick intro sequence. In the forest outside of town, four children discover a mysterious black pool that's transported them to an unknown world. Now begins their journey home. So now we're gonna actually begin their journey and start a playthrough. So the game's up, Matt, so you can join. Yep. Look around while we for Matt to join. The mysterious temple. There's this black pool. It's as you can see it's interacting with us as we move around in it. Keep you entertained while you wait for your friends to join. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin our path. Alright, so we're approaching the courtyard here. I've got light, fire, and decay. I have lightning, terra, and uh, decay. Okay, um, might go light, my quick. Okay. Um, how about I go decay, which will amplify damage, but then I'll get a strong terra, which you can use your light on. Sweet. All right, so I'll do that. Um, you're presented when you select an element. You're always present, presented three of six possible skills, but in the beginning, you're always given the option of quick attack. So that's how we knew what quick attack we were going to get. So I'm going to choose decay. For the next one, I get need to get a little lucky um, and hope that we get offered strong for the combo. And I didn't. Thank you. Yeah, I was hoping. I would get strong fire, and I also didn't get it, so I think I'm going to go mobility I'm going to get my fire jump. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to do dash for mine as well, so we'll try and be kind of rapid, and I'll use my decay to amplify damage. And he'll finish it. Well, most likely he'll kill things with one shot. His kind of charges up and does a lot of damage, but can't cast near as rapid. I'm casting several times a second. All right, we're making our way down, and we've we're approaching the device here. Um, so this is where, throughout the game, as you kind of beat bosses, get achievements, your reward with geodes, and you can spend those on upgrades, which make you stronger with each attempt. Right now, we're in all kind of tier three upgrades. Um, Matt had upgraded his Steeler Glass to Tier 4, so I'm just going to do that to match, so we're kind of the same. Um, we, one of them is focused on just helping your friends, so like we have the choice of giving them additional effect when they're nearby us, or if we both kill the same enemy, giving us an instant cooldown on our dash. So um, I'd prefer the effect one from you, Matt. Which one do you want? Okay, yeah, I'll take effect as well. Okay. And since I'm going with light quick um i like to use the strategic damage of increases damage to full health enemies so that i can maximize my charged up damage on my first hit yeah where i have a rapid fire low damage ability that's mostly amplifying other attacks so i'm going to instead do that i'm going to have it do extra damage while i'm in the air so you'll see me jumping and attacking a lot all right, so let's get into the game. Um, did you want to reset your pop-ups so that those come up for people? Sure. Let's see. So there are little tutorial messages that will show up, and we'll show a brief example of that when we have something of note happen. So we're gonna jump.
jump into the whirlpool and start our playthrough. Yeah, so the pop-ups you'll see is one of the new features we've added in the last couple patches is just improving the new player experience. Um, we were just getting a lot of frequently asked questions from the players, uh, some things that just weren't clear, and so uh, that's kind of our uh, attempt at making those things a little bit clearer for new players. All right, just adjusting my audio, and let's go ahead. Uh, I'm another pulse is coming. I'll try to knock out his pulses in the future. This was on cooldown there. So these disc launchers have an attack that you can destroy before they hit the ground. So Matt's kind of specializing on that. He's pretty weak right now if you want to... Um, right now I have damage numbers and hit targeting off. Do you think I should turn damage numbers on for streaming? Uh, whatever. Up to you. Yeah, I'll just turn this on for now. Oops. All right, so now we can kind of see the damage that's being done. Also, I have the ability to toggle on arrows, which will kind of lead us to the next destination if you get lost. This guy spawned and he had a little flux thing on it and a keeper spawn. So here's that example of that information pop up where the first time something happens we can display some information which will make it easier to kind of understand what's going on with the game. So that keeper has spawned, we killed him in time so we get a free upgrade from him. So I'm going to go ahead and increase my damage amplification on decay. One of the other things that we've done in the last patch is we made it so that these level one worlds have more enemies um, compared to previous versions. They were just a little bit empty in the early world, uh, but the enemies have been deranked, so they have lower hit points and lower outfit damage. He's pretty vulnerable if you hit him. Yeah. yeah. to the end of the first level. So the world we were brought to was randomly selected. There's a whole bunch of biomes. Right now there's eight biomes. So the fact that we got this kind of dark world with these cool kind of surrounding lights was kind of through random selection. We are doing time crunch, so... Oh, wow, well, yeah, quickly. good call. Can't spend too much time explaining. So we're down to 15 seconds. So <laughs> thanks for the reminder. Only two minutes and 50 seconds before we start to take damage, so we gotta get going. 
And it is probably unfortunate that neither one of us got a secondary attack and we both have mobility. Oh, that one dropped. Kamikaze there, watch out. Yeah. So conveniently, he's focusing that, so I can make sure I'm hitting him. Um, he has legs, like when I accidentally hit him, you can see they kind of flash this kind of blue pattern that shows that they're not taking damage, so it makes it clear what part of the enemies you need to be hitting. Yeah, so every ability in our game has an element effect. And so Scow has Quick Decay, which increase, amplifies damage with every single stack. And I have Light for my Quick, which if I consecutively hit guys, I'll get enough, enough stacks to blind them. Uh-oh, we're taking damage. Oh, we gotta kill this guy and get going. All right, quickly se select our element. Um, Increasing yeah. Ooh, man. And, yeah. So we're kind of behind on things. Uh, we're a bit low on damage. So hopefully with our next skills we can get, we can get some damage going and get on top of it. Yeah, hopefully we can kill this boss in time. So at the very end there, we saw there was a weird kind of tentacle creature. Um, that's the entity and flux that we had earned throughout the trip we could spend on kind of rewards. Um, but since we were in a time crunch, we really didn't have time to do too much shopping at that point. So just really quickly, I grabbed a, a reroll credit and kept going. Um, the reroll credit lets you um, at shops, like when you're getting upgrades, um, if you've got two upgrades presented that you don't like, it lets you kind of re-roll it and see if you can get a different random selection that you like more. Ooh, I just took some damage. All right, we're down to 45 seconds. All right, making good progress there. So on this stage, he's shooting mortars down on us, and we gotta be careful that we don't cross paths. So it's kind of almost a game of snake, where you don't want to cross your own path or cross your friend's path. Let's see if we can bank some time here. All right, so we got 16 seconds to grab our upgrades and keep going. I'm gonna increase my attack rate so I can attack even quicker. Three, two, one. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> right on schedule. All right, we're going to have to really hustle this next world. Yeah, I think uh, so. After beating that, that moon, we're brought back to the temple where we're then presented another skill. Um, we're also healed up. So this large alien structure sends some healing rays our way. I got Decay, Lightning, and Void. Got Lightning, Wind, and Fire. I might go Strong Void. Kind of keep my theme so I have Decay, which is amplifying damage, and then if I get Strong Void, that creates a crystal which then doubles damage placed to it, so I just all focus on being kind of utility. Okay, I'm gonna go for Strong Fire, and we can charge that up together. Nice. Yeah, I got Strong 
deployed, so that's good. All right, and you got strong fire. Cool. So basically, strong fire that he got absorbs damage, and then will amplify that many times more. So encourages kind of team play to focus on that to get some large damage numbers. Part of the challenge is I'm trying to apply decay to the enemies to amplify their damage, but I also want to hit it a few times to increase the damage on that, so we'll see how well we can balance that. And I guess the main thing I'll want to do is make sure I put the crystal there before you hit it with the strong fire as well. Oh, well, make for some interesting timing. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to have to balance all of this with our time crunch. All right, so I'm gonna right away put a crystal on the driller. I hit him a few times with the K. Yeah, I did it. All right. All right. Um, part of the challenge we have is here's a flux event where this will take extra time from our trip, but I think we want to try and get it. So let's try and kill this real quick. Yep. So these are random events. So this one's kind of a challenge. Okay, we gotta kill a driller. There's a crystal on him. Ooh, took some got damage. fire here. Okay, charging it up. Oh man. Probably should kill a few jellyfish first. I definitely got hit by them a few times. Nice. All right, keep on our way. I can take advantage of my Terra Dash to charge way ahead. I'm gonna put a crystal on that guy. Nice, down quick. We just got three flux in a short amount of time. Yeah, so as long as we don't get punished for taking too much time to do it, that's pretty nice. Crystals up, and I'm charging your fireball. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put some decay on them. Nice. Yeah. So normally yeah, those I... bigger guys aren't dying in one shot, but we're kind of going out of our way to stack things up to just amplify damage like crazy on them. Oh crap. Well, there's a decay on, or sorry, crystal on his back leg. I meant to do his front leg. Fireball here. All right, he's decayed up. Uh, I missed. See if I can get it back. Ah, crap. <laughs> All right. So with this big guy, we actually got to take out a couple of his legs to take him down. So we took out one leg there. Let's take out this javelin who's throwing missiles at us. Let's take out... Oh, I missed with my crystal. Legs close. There we go. Maybe try to pull him to the left so we can keep moving. All right. I'll put a crystal on him. I'm gonna finish nice. off this hopper while we keep going. Whoa! <laughs> I almost walked backwards off a cliff. Oh, oh keeper! Damn! I just used my fire. On him. Oh, he got screwed. Ah. Snatch her. Annoying. I'm going to increase my crystal hit points, which means more damage. So basically, the way the crystal works is it has a base number of hit points, and every time you hit the crystal, it passes that damage through to the enemy, as well as doubles the, the, the damage itself. So effectively, we're doubling the damage whenever someone's hitting the crystal. And I'll increase the amplification. So I'm kind of charging up the crystal, making it pass through more damage and have more hit points. So just overall, more damage is being done through it.
Ah, so I messed up there and I put the crystal on his leg, which is invulnerable. So <laughs> this is that's a guy we were one-shotting earlier. Obviously, when you don't land the combination, not gonna one-shot it. Crystal on him. Oh. Thing you can also see is like they're slowly turning more red as they're nearing death. Um, we deliberately didn't want to put hit bars in the game, kind of make it as minimal as possible with user interface. So it's a good way of kind of communicating that guys are near death without explicit hit bars on them. Alright, crystal on the left guy. Nice. Oh man, I'm taking damage. Oh wow, yeah. I'm not doing great either. And we just killed a flux crawler there. That was another change that we made in this recent patch. It's just increasing the uh, frequency of common flux events. So in the previous patch, they just didn't feel like we were getting enough opportunities to improve flux. Oh, he's out of range. Got a little greedy and tried to cast that ability from too far away. Oh, shoot. Whoa. Well, I dodged him blowing me up and fell off. Oh, no. Well, here's... We're kind of getting to be at a predicament here. We're both pretty low on hit points. Do we go for the heal, I guess? Uh, yeah, let's take the heal. All right. And I so, have four, five flex. So I'm going to get an additional upgrade anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. So we get extra upgrade here. So while we used our upgrade to heal, by getting a second upgrade, we're not totally losing out. I keep on upgrading my crystal there. And we got 40 seconds on our timer. So this boss will be a good chance for us to really kind of utilize our maximizing our damage. So I'll throw a crystal, charge up your fireball a few times, and then start to decay him. That fireball. All right, I'm starting to decay. There, that just hit for nearly, it's 1,300 plus 800, so over 2,000 damage. Pretty close. Uh, it was probably a waste to put the crystal on that stage. All right, so I'll take, I'll start taking out some towers. Yeah, same. Okay, um, okay. need to take out these guys. So this boss, in his first stage, spawns these spawners who then spawn these towers, which are kind of overwhelming us at this point. There's a crystal on one of them that's decayed. Okay. Let me know if you put your fireball down. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Alright, where is All right, he? Charged up. I'll put a crystal on him. Nice. Oh, nice. That worked really well. A fireball. Okay, I'm putting a crystal on him, charging the fireball. All right, decaying the guy. And that should just about do that stage. And he's close. There he goes. Let's see if we can just finish him off and kill all these other ads. Yeah. Where'd he go? There he is. Okay, he's got a crystal on him. 
So this guy is now spawning tons of little adds. But conveniently, when we kill him, they all die. So we finished him off. Right, Probably a good thing we time. healed. I think you're less than 40 yeah. health, huh? Yep, 35. Yep, so he would have died there. Alright. Let me go back to upgrading decay. Increase projectile speed. So now I don't have to lead as much. They're flying much faster in the distance. I've been upgrading my mobility these last uh, couple upgrades. Always good to... Um, while damage is important, it's also good to kind of prioritize your ability to dodge and take less damage. Yeah. I had not been doing that. Alright, I got Decay, Void, and Wind, and I need an area attack or a jump. Got Lightning, Ice, and Fire. I could go Ice to see if we get some uh, stuns going. Yeah, that's a good call. What do you think? Should I get... I can either get Wind, Jump, or Wind, Area. Up to you. I might just get Wind, Area... So I can do a little more damage because right now I'm pretty all in on just amplifying damage and not able to like kill guys that you're not finishing. All right. I just looked at the damage graph and overall we're pretty even. Nice. Far. Though Scow is amplifying damage with two of his abilities, so that's not really represented in the damage graph at this time. Yeah, so we can see here that Matt's a bit stronger. As far as damage, but what that's not accounting for is some of that extra damage is coming from the decay that I'm doing. But what is accounted for is the amplification from the void, because when that crystal does damage, it does its own damage. It's not amplifying damage. So yeah, we're both kind of amplifying each other's damage in that respect. I'm aiming at your crystal, and Scow is getting some extra crystal damage, and Scow is also charging up my fireball, and that's giving me more fire damage. Exactly. Yep, so, yeah, with playing multiplayer, we definitely wanted to set it up so you're working together. Like, if we were each just trying to maximize our own damage, we'd be doing way less damage. Alright, so we're now at Shattered Crater. Newly redesigned Shattered Crater. Scow added these alien structures I think look really sweet. Yeah, and, ooh, oh, nice. Initially, this was more of a just wide open reflective surface, but I felt pretty empty, so we tried to make it a little more concentrated. Um, there's a crawler on that far hill. Just for, oh man. God, oh, okay. Well, that's hard to hit that guy. <laughs> he moves so fast. He got the very end of his foot with the crystal, if you can something like that. Uh, Jesus. Going so fast. Better freeze him. Oh crap. Oh, took some damage there. Where'd that crawler go? Kamikaze's here. Oh, dang. So that spawn was a bunch of self-destructing robots. Got the crawler over here. I'll pick up the flux. Nice. Oh, man. We got a way high-level uh, rhino. Nice. Okay, charge up fire. Okay. Um, I got him voided and decayed. Dang, unfortunately I hit, he got unfrozen right when I launched my fireball and I hit his shield in part of his body. It's alright. He's crystalled. Ah. There we go. Alright, 
So we've, since we've gotten our damage up, we're not as far behind on our damage, which is good. Grain my crystal again. That's interesting. I haven't really tried this build before going kind of all in on a crystal with decay. In theory, those kind of stack together, so I'm doubling damage, but I'm also applying decay, which increases damage. So I'm doubling damage on increased damage, so. Kind of an interesting combo. I've been upgrading my attack rate with my quick attack, so now I can I'm pretty effective at taking out small guys now. Oh, there's a spider too. I put the void on the other guy, unfortunately. I guess we might as well just finish him off and get the... Yeah. Or the starfish, not the spider. These guys spawn a kind of rotating energy wall, so you just kind of... Oh, nice! Okay, that's good use of the ice. Keep them from moving so fast. Sometimes I timing on those really works out just right. Uh, All right I'm attacking his ball over here. Oh man. Oh man, he's got a parasite on him. Fireball? Um, nice. Wow, that did a lot of damage. The crystal part of it did 1200 damage and you did 800 with the fireball plus another 800. I'm not sure. What the hell? <laughs> cool. Oh, some flux over here. The oh. Infected guy. Where is he? Oh, I got it. Just the uh, infected guy dropped uh, flux. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so there's a percent chance uh, with enemies that they can become infected with flux, and that gives them an extra attack, but when you kill them, you get the flux. All right. All right, so we are banking some time now. We got a four minute, almost five minute cushion, which is good. Upgrading the crystal again. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna spend my flux. I think I'm gonna keep saving them up at this point. Nothing really there I wanted and don't wanna waste my reroll. Crystal on top of his head. I'll try and keep on his towers as well. Oh man. <laughs> Put a crystal on top of his head right before it destroyed. <laughs> the bad use of it. Oh damn. Um, oh, got one of them. Sorry, I didn't get yours. Nice. Got him. The fireball. Alright, I'll just... Nice. Oh, I missed. Got it. Nice. And you nice. got that one. Nice. <laughs> I covered you, you covered me. <laughs> um, crystal on his face. So he 
lobs these giant bombs at us, so we gotta take them out before they hit us. They have a massive radius, so you can't really get away from them. Nice. Alright, crystal right on his forehead. And I missed. Oh no, I did hit him. Okay. Nice. Wow, that wind just took him out. Upgraded my ice, so we'll get a little bit more CC out of it. Yeah. I'm just going crazy on damage amplification this time, Decay. Might go for a rally. Uh. Got decay, ice, and terra. I got fire, lightning, and wind. I guess I could um, go for lightning and jump. What do you think? Yeah. So for me, I'm. I need a dash and a rally, and I don't really like any of my options for dashing. So I'm gonna get my rally, which I'm gonna get terra rally. Cool. Right, I'm gonna grab my jump, so you just threw down the rally so you can see we got rock armor on us. So. Uh, rallies are basically a once per world um, ability, so it lasts maybe what, like 20 seconds, and while in the 20 seconds we go, go in there and get this rock armor, and it'll absorb a hit and prevent us from taking damage. But we only get to use it once, so we gotta be very strategic in the timing of it. Then the the jump that I got is a lightning grapple, so it attaches to things and I can pull myself towards them. So it can be pretty handy for mobility. Take the shortcut. Uh, let's just take the jump pad. Alright. Ah, missed. Missed him. Are we on? Is this our third one? This is World 4, I think. Oh, fourth one. Yeah. see with our builds getting a little bit more mature we're really starting to output a lot of damage between the two of us yeah this is actually working quite well as a synergistic combo <laughs> we're way ahead of our time crunch 
crystal. Oh, I messed. I didn't get that right in time. Oh well, he died pretty quick. Yeah, we're, we're doing so much damage that it, we don't have to execute our combo perfectly, but that will come more into play as we later levels here. Yeah. Oh crap. Yeah. Luckily, Matt took that guy out while I was selecting my upgrade. Where's the hit point? Yeah, my crystal's almost fully upgraded. Looks like we got a flux platform. Sweet. Alright, um, I'm gonna take out the scorpion first just because those guys yeah. always do a ton of damage to me. Whoa! I guess I should have taken out the kamikaze first. <laughs> yeah, I might as well kill that spider too. Yeah. Alright, All right, let's get this guy. Um, got crystal on the leg. Fireball here. Oh, no. didn't need it. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> Set it up there. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have a flux of that. Oh, so this is one of the new flux events the sphere drop. The goal is to take out all these spheres before they hit the bottom of the platform, so we have to kind of split up. So as soon as we get a big one, I'll focus on that big okay. one. Okay. Okay, here's focus on this big one. All right. Oh, here's another one. Oh, small one! Oh, whoa, that was close. <laughs> Did you see the crystal on that little ball? <laughs> wow, that was closer <laughs> than it needed to be. Nice. Right, I'm gonna try and take a shortcut. Yes. Oh, I could have done that. <laughs> Too late, though. I may regret that decision. Oh, especially if that guy spawns and I don't have Matt to do. Oh, he's here already. Trying to hide. Okay, get... Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get him. Nice. Oh. Hopefully that was worth it. Took a lot of kamikaze damage. All right, get your upgrade. Attack rate. Let's see what flux I got. Hmm. I might just increase my decay effect and just keep going in on that. So the effect is the thing on decay that increases damage for everybody. So I increase it by 25%. So that's pretty good. With these last couple upgrades, I've upgraded my fire duration, which is the base effect of fire, which is a damage over time. And so now when I land my fireball, it doesn't increase the fireball's damage, but it does increase the amount of damage done over time afterwards. And that'll be helpful when we face some bigger guys here that have a lot of hit points. Yeah. All right. Um, do you want to go right and I'll go left and then we'll kind of... And then meet on the far tower? Sure, okay. Okay, cool. Alright, 
tower here. Oh boy. Got a crystal on the far tower. Yeah. Out this side here. Ooh, there's a uh, javelin still alive by you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I'll take out this one. Was at 20 hit points. Probably good we had a little bit of a plan there to execute. Now we've got over six minutes time banked now. <laughs> Your damage was king there. <laughs> I guess there's not really much damage you're doing overall. It's more getting around to do the little bits of damage. All right. Upgrade my jump. Rally, do we want decay or when? Um, decay, maybe? Yeah, we'll go all in on <laughs> amplifying damage. Alright, so that was the end of the fourth world, so now our builds are totally complete. If you pause up here before you jump in. Oop. Well, now just jumped in. But <laughs> we got no time. We're going. <laughs> you can see the effect we have for when we're going to Magnet, Fifth World. Platform way Whoa, over there. I almost messed that up. <laughs> All right, I'll All right. go, to I'll go right to right. start. You go left. Yeah. Uh, Polis is gonna hit in just a sec. All right, he's down. Right, let's oh, kill man. Scorpion. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna focus on him. Crystal. There's a fireball over here. Alright. Um, boy, I just want to hit it. Did we take out that scorpion already? Yeah. Wow, our damage is insane, man. Take out some of these ads here. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, there's that. There's someone over there? Yeah, I'll get him. I did out. Right, if we can, let's save our rallies for the boss. Yeah. If I'm going down, I'm, I'll cast mine. Yeah. Well, we should be able to spike the spider lords pretty quick. Ah. Uh, unless I put a crystal on his leg rather than his vulnerable part. Targeting your fireball. Oh boy. Oh, your freeze is saving us because I'm missing all my crystals. <laughs> Might be the quickest we've ever cleared this as a two player. For sure. It's fully charged up and... Oh no! What happened? <laughs> I was above it. It no. still hit the driller. Uh, I can't save myself. I'm falling off. Alright, so there is that flux platform there. I can't get that. Let's see how high... Unfortunately, if my dash was upgraded, I think I could, but I don't think it's worth it to try. Definitely gonna need to heal here. Oh, uh, did you get the flux from that? I don't recall. Oh, it's still down here. Okay, good it. call. <laughs> Unfortunately, that puts me one below an additional upgrade, so 
This is our last chance to spend our flux. I'll probably get some damage upgrades here. Yeah, a little more void damage from my crystal. Yeah, I gotta heal. So I got light damage on void, so that um, gives me 12%. I got three of those, so it's a pretty significant uh, upgrade. Wow, yeah, when so when you hit my crystals, control. you'll do 36% more damage, and then that'll be amplified. And if there's decay on top of that, you should add up nicely. Did you max out the hit points of the crystal? Yep. Nice. I didn't quite get the percentage maxed out, but pretty close. Yeah, I went about 50-50 on quick upgrades, quick decay upgrades, and strong void upgrades. Alright, so we both have our rallies here. We'll probably wait a little bit to use them. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> uh, crap. You might have a window when that thing's charging. Oh, that's brave. Uh, that's really brave. <laughs> gotcha. Wow. <laughs> that was impressive. <laughs> And you get the rally. Nice. All right, let's. One of them pass us through. That was a pretty good rally. Stay near a corner here in case you get targeted. Yeah. Oh, yep, I'm right targeted. So these guys will lock on to you and hit you quite hard if you don't get at Alright. It's dropping. I hit it. He's locked on that. Ooh, he got just behind that in time. <laughs> Whoa, that's a laser. Uh, you might want to rally after this. Yeah, good call. Okay, rally is going down. Yeah. They're all in it. So uh, everyone in this rally is taking double damage. Plus any amplifications we already got going. Oh, he's locked on you, Matt. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm oh out. boy, that's not good. <laughs> I went in to maximize damage. Went all in. <laughs> yeah, just finish it. Don't try to res me. Laser during this. It's oh. close. There we go. 
Nice. Yeah, so got six minutes on our time crunch. Obviously, we only did the bronze time crunch. If we had done silver or gold, it would have been much more of a factor. Yeah, point. silver, we'd be really sweating right now. Gold, like, we're pretty good at our own game, but we're, I don't think we're gold good. Legendary attack rate upgrade. That's pretty timely. We're probably my last upgrade. Well, we'll see what happens here. This next one's pretty tough. We're getting towards the end of our playthrough, so challenge is way up. Taking some real damage. Uh, 
uh, keeper. I froze him. Oh man. I might actually get him. Nice. That's only the second time we've ever gotten a rank 5 keeper. Crap. One health. Oh god. Oh. Alright, I'll try to clear these guys and then res you. Dash was upgraded, I could be able to get faster. Try to freeze him there so I can res. Yeah. That really shows how our damage slows down when we're, we don't have kind of the synergy of each other's abilities. Okay, you're up. Your attack speed is nuts. Yeah. Yeah, that last upgrade I got was pretty key for that. All right, I'm gonna drop a fireball. Yeah. Did you just get your upgrade? Yes. Oh, wait. We killed a keeper over there. I didn't get my upgrade. We got plenty of time. I'm going to go get it. Ah, right. oh, that was dumb. Where did we kill that keeper? Right here. You might have already gotten yours. Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> that's right. Mid combat got it. <laughs> and that's unfortunate. I was hoping I'd get a dash upgrade here so that I could get my heal over there, but I didn't get it. Since I haven't, this is my only opportunity I've had to get a dash upgrade, I'm going to go for it because I may very well save me the yeah. 40 Yeah, well, hold it against you. I, I should have definitely healed. There's no reason not to heal there. I was just... I'm four out of five upgrades on my quick dash or on my quick attack. I'm like, oh, I can get that last one. I didn't even get it. Yeah.
Legs break free. You gotta kill off the little dudes that they spawn as. Watch your hit points there. I'm gonna throw down. I'm probably gonna die at any point. You want me to rally? Yeah, if you could. Yeah. Not the most ideal point for it, but so close to death. I didn't get hit by it until the very end. One health. And dead. Uh, might try. Uh, uh, well, I'm just taking it. Lost my Terra, but I got you up. Get the shield, Jen. There's two of them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Close. 
Oh. One hour yeah, and eleven minute run. Pretty, pretty good. good overall. Wow, your light damage is really high. Yeah, probably from all the void stacks or the decay stacks on the void crystal. Anyway, that was a good long run attempt on at the black pool, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, check out the game. And